Hello comrades, it is me Vortexiel with yet another tutorial on how to set up your Discord going live notifications. I did make a different video about this already, however people have reported that it is not working for them. Just yesterday a new resource has been added to Kik's official resources channel called Notibot. In order to add this bot to your server, go to notibot.app slash invite. Choose the server to which the bot should be added to, in this case VX, continue, make sure all of the permissions are enabled and hit continue again. Enter your authentication code in case that you have your two-factor enabled. Confirm that you're human. Please click each image containing a panda wearing glasses. What are these AI generated monstrosities? What the fuck, man? Once you have verified that you're human, the bot will automatically join your server. This bot is really fun to set up. Simply start by typing manage, hit enter, and now it will prompt you with the buttons to add a streamer or remove a streamer that you would like to receive notifications for. In this case, we want to add a stream. And this is the pop-up that you'll be prompted with. You have to enter the stream name. In this case, it is example account. And then it will ask you for the channel ID and the role ID. This is where people usually get confused. What you need to do is get out of the screen Go to your Discord settings, scroll down to Advanced, and make sure that the Developer Mode is enabled. This is very important, otherwise this will not work. To get the channel ID, right-click the channel to which you would like the notification to be posted. Copy ID, and this is how it looks like. It's kind of like mentioning the channel, except this is how the bot is able to identify it. And if you would like the bot to also tag a role, go to your server settings, find the role that will be tagged every time that you go live, right click it and copy ID. You will copy the channel ID, click on add streamer again, paste it in there, and then do the same thing with the role ID and submit. It will give you a confirmation that the streamer has been successfully added. And if you type manage again, you can actually add multiple different streams that you can be notified for. And just in case you add the wrong streamer by accident, you can copy this ID right here, click on remove streamer, and this way you can easily remove it and you will stop getting the notifications. And then my friends, once you go live, is going to post the message. With the other bots that I have tested, it usually takes up to about five minutes after you actually go live for it to post the message. So this way we can in real time see how long it takes. And that was actually pretty damn quick, I have to say. It's going to tag the role that you have chosen. You get a nice little preview of the stream, the stream title, followers as well as the amount of viewers. Then you can simply go ahead and click this button and it's going to take you to the stream. I have to say, I am quite impressed and this is probably the cleanest and easiest way to make this feature work as of now. And just in case you do end up having any trouble with this setup at all, they do have an official support server. Simply type slash discord, hit enter and you'll be redirected to their official support server. Just in case you have any trouble inviting the bot in the first place, there is also this direct link that you can use to actually get to their discord, notibot.app slash support. I hope that this works for you fellow key comrades and until next time, I kiss you. Mm.